I will present my uh, research uh, that uh, I was focused uh, one year about uh, gamification of the space activity and policy. And uh, I now, uh, now I uh, work uh, um, on this topic with my colleagues, uh, um, specialist of the uh, gamification and the simulation of reality. A few words about uh, what happened now in the outer space uh, and the um, you, all of you are experts in different domain of space activity, and uh, you may know what happened uh, according to the uh, sustain, uh, sustainable uh, su sustainability of the space activity. Uh, the, uh, the sustainability of space activity uh, was uh, mentioned in the uh, guidelines uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2019, but uh, it's not the new problem. Uh, here you, you, you may see the, the, uh, the graphic from the Space Environment Report, PISA, that uh, now we have exponentially growing of the space uh, debris and the space objects, and uh, um, nothing is, uh, cannot be changed uh, very, very fast. And here uh, there, um, there is a lot of the ideas that we should uh, um, use uh, uh, some um, uh, some um, possibilities, some options of the climate change and other environmentalistic uh, concepts. And um, I, I thought that uh, it's a correct idea, but uh, it's not uh, very simple to change a uh, very, very complex system that have uh, uh, such features like uncertainty, uh, autonomous behavior, uh, complexity and uh, other features. Um, the uh, physical growth, uh, the concept of physical growth and uh, their limitation uh, and the climate change uh, the, like um, symptom of the illness of the uh, our strategy of our use of uh, natural uh, natural environment uh, was mentioned was elaborated by the doctor medals. Uh, he elaborated a lot of the games that uh, help uh, people to understand more deeper and more deeper and um, mm, uh, more evident uh, what happened now uh, with our uh, environment. He suggested the uh, stupid formula. The, so uh, this um, formula um, state that uh, we have some social norm restrictions, time pressure, usage of word, different use of chop word, for example, like a bad uh, standard, like a bad, bad start, and uh, investigate uh, limited of uh, our investigation of the um, environment. And also he said that uh, we have some uh, demonstration that not given the, some uh, um, re resolution of our activity. But, uh, I made some comparison with uh, this uh, uh, concept of the limit of growth of the Earth environment uh, with the uh, outer space environment. All we know about the Kessler syndrome as a physical feature, but now there is some uh, the scientists that uh, talk about the economic Kessler syndrome. So we can we will not have the uh, enough uh, possibilities, even financial possibilities to. Uh, combat to uh, manage all this problem of the um, or use of the uh, outer space. So uh, now we have some ten uh, tendency that uh, uh, numerous bigger satellites launching in the most crowded orbit. It's not. Uh, it's uh, very very similar to the stupid formula mentioned by Dr. Meadows. He said uh, so. It's um, significant that. Uh, um, human behavior is not rational and uh, we should to uh, make some awareness about uh, the our experience it's not just about our comprehension uh what it was a, a brief introduction and um, what i want to um, reveal what i want to tell you about the gamification first of all it's uh, to um, uh, to remove some uh, um, some understanding of the games like uh, something from uh, just for uh, for children and uh, or just for some people who like the game game it's uh, not about uh, 
not just about sound, it's also about the simulation of the complexity reality in the more sample feature. Um, also, uh, I want to present you some uh, type of the game that uh, now exists. Uh, it's a game about space activity. And after that, I will present you my uh, own type, my own uh, prototype of the space uh, governance game. So, for fun or for them? All we know about some uh, philosophical question of space law and activities, for example, how to protect our own satellite without large expenses, how to manage the um, environmental preservation, but uh, with fostering of the growing of space economy, and so on. But the complexity of ensuring this space sustainability confound our mental map. The, uh, so it's all that we know about space activity. You know, that uh, the idea of the infinite space uh, that we we can uh, through through all we know yes now not uh, there is no a, a lot of the people who think like that but it was existed and also uh, this mental map uh, um, uh, are still actual for some. Um, in some cases, for example, when, uh, when we have the balance between the human life and the, um, preserving the outer space from, uh, um, I don't know, from from the um, some instrument of the astronaut, what we, we we can choose? Sure, we can choose the uh, save the human life. It's normal. It's good, but it's uh, something that uh, we. Uh, can uh, cannot remark uh, when we talk about the protection of outer space from the harmful impact of human activity. So we we should push uh, us to uh, search another strategy that will address the work within the governing variable, uh, for example, to change national legislation. But if we will change some legislation, but we will not change our mental map about uh, our um, um features our key um values that we have about uh, space activity we uh, could not change uh, something very very um very different that we have now uh, so uh, the real changes could be uh, obtained uh, even uh, just when uh, the subject the governing variable to critical scrutiny after that, um, I used uh, in elaboration uh, for elaboration of my proper um, space game uh, the concept of the depth of the knowledge changes. Um, uh, in the previous slide, I uh, uh, draw this uh, concept in the um, in the uh, in the example of the space governance. Uh, for example, this. Uh, uh, um, this uh, concept uh, they, it have three uh, stages of the our comprehension of the problem of the complexity reality complex reality uh, uh, the first step is uh, just uh, to learn some, uh, some facts about uh, about the problem to adapt uh, to the environmental changes the second step is to change some values regarding the theory to use and strategies so it's, for example, to change our comprehension of uh, our space, for example, not just uh, like uh, garbage, like, like a space for the garbage and uh, something like that, but to change uh, the protection. And also now we have in the guidelines uh, uh, long -term, uh, of long-term sustainability, uh, this guidance uh, took um, the, um, they focus our attention on the um, on the protection of outer space for space activity, but not the protection of the outer space like a uh, environment that, uh, that um, need to be just like it was before our presence there. Uh, and the uh, triple loop learning it's the possibility to understand how we can understand our values. It's more deeper understanding of the reality. Uh, this slide is about how to uh, create real serious game, 
we need to t to take into face with three different realities uh, that is uh, uh, that are uh, they are play uh, reality and meaning uh, uh, me like a space lawyer I, I can take the reality uh, it's the, re the um, real space activity that uh, I know uh, I also may use the space law, different type, international law, national, uh, some te uh, technical regulation, and so on, and to construct some uh, concept uh, concept map. How I want to push the players, the actors, to play this reality and to manage with some problem. But it's not sufficient because I need also to engage these people and. As a like like all the people, we need to to take some interest in the our activity, and this type of the um, jo uh, this joyful part of uh, our activity that uh, uh, create the um, good value a good uh, atmosphere for uh, cr creative work. It's the other world, world of play, and uh, for this uh, type of work responsible the game designer that uh, can create uh, uh, something uh, impressive and also engageful for our activity and the third uh, reality is the meaning it's uh, what we need to gain in the in the end of this activity of this uh, simulation of the reality uh, because uh, um, it's not very simple to just to uh, to reproduce some, uh, um, for example, I don't know, for example, uh, some uh, space uh, uh, law in, uh, interaction, uh, interaction between space actors uh, prescribed by space law. For example, uh, when we have some maneuvering of the uh, two operators that try to uh, to um, make the avoidance of the collision. But it's not just about that. We need to understand what we need to gain just to learning or to create, to create uh, something new and something other. We will see in the an, another um, uh, another slide uh, what I mean here. Uh, so, game modelization uh, it's uh, the the key um, concept of this uh, a, of this uh, um, type of activity. It's a kind of abstraction. Uh, we need to uh, to respond on the key question: uh, How much features we need to put into our uh, modelization, simulation, gamification of the real problem? And uh, depending of how we to respond and how we will move to, um, in in this uh, kind of abstraction, uh, we can uh, choose uh, one of uh, two different. Uh, great uh, type of the space uh, of the uh, two great type of the um, game first is the close simulation game in this game the right outcome is well known in advance and uh, there are a lot of rules but uh, less the players autonomy to create new behavior this game is very very good just to learn some about something for example for me it's very interesting to understand how uh, work the the uh, rocket science or i don't know astrobiology and so on and, and we can uh, we can make a uh, create some um game about it that and uh, i uh, like a, a space lawyer can create them uh, some game about the uh, legislation but just to exchange our experience and there is a, another type it's an open policy game roles here uh, need to just to meet some realistic context, but it it could be very very um, just a very brief uh, framework. There is no right outcome, but players can observe and uh, suggest different options. So, why we choose the game? The game provides us the safe, secure setting of the test of our option and resolve the problems through a process of trial and error. Uh, how it's connect with law? Uh, in my point of view, law as in uh, as a, a game, it's two type of abstraction, abstractive reflection of the current experience of the further 
expectation. Uh, but uh, we need to um, make some balance between to this between law and the game. Mm -hmm. I hope I have some time also. Yeah. Uh, so, which uh, key features uh, are common uh, between game and law? First of all, it's the non-linear linear form of the reflecting of the real situation. So we can just come to some uh, to plunge to uh, dive into some reality and to understand it not from the uh, first of all, to the um, to the um, end, like we can read the um, book, but it's just like a um, dive into the another reality. Also, law is flexible system of rules that prescribe not just the mode of behavior of the pl players, but also de determine the space of opportunities for their change. Also, the, uh, it provides some context, determine the mode of thinking. And we can check the validity of rules by two types of activity. First is the follow the according to interest of the participants, and second, for example, is to change them with testing how interaction change according to these changes. Here you can uh, you can observe, you can see um, my um, uh, concept uh, of uh, the space activity. Uh, that uh, uh, based uh, in the national legislation. Here I put uh, uh, the situation of the risk of collision between two operators, two space objects, that need to, uh, they need to communicate with the space agencies, with the international um, entities. Also, there is some uh, other con concern actors, I mean here, or, uh, operators or space agencies or maybe someone else. Also, there is uh, some complementary players that uh, uh, have their interest, financial interest, uh, to it's not just financial interest. It could be also customers that need to um, to uh, space services, but uh, they they can lose it if uh, um, if. Uh, this uh, space object uh, will be in danger of the mm, collision. Uh, here, uh, green, uh, it's uh, resources that they have. For example, they have the resource to time. Uh, they should uh, mm, uh, they should work very, very, very fast, communicate very, very fast. Also, there is the resources of uh, responsibility, uh, the value, and uh, another one. Uh, also, here I put uh, the non -re uh, re uh, reusable and non reusable type of space debris uh, if they will uh, appear uh, according to the not uh, very well maneuvering situation. And uh, also, it's a national legislation, sure. So, uh, here is the concept map. But uh, what we can do with all this uh, type of the game, gamification. I made the synthetic review about, uh, uh, I, I um, use uh, some keywords like game, simulation, modeling, also mitigation, activity risk removal, training, cost benefit, uh, benefit ratio, and so on, say uh, satellite collision. And uh, I found that uh, more than uh, 1,000 um, publication that uh, use all this type of the words and uh, the most appropriate uh, um, in the end it was just uh, uh, eight uh, articles they have some type of this information and uh, on the base of the of this I found that uh, there is three type of the space activity game. First uh, type is the leisure game. It's uh, about fun. It's about attraction of the um, activity, attraction of the um, general public, of the attention of general public to the problem. For example, uh, the problem of destruction, assembly, dodging, the space 
debris. But uh, it's not uh, it's just about uh, to warn it. There is another type of the uh, space uh, games. It's a game theoretical analysis uh, provided by the Ariadna study uh, within the uh, United Com uh, uh, European Committee. Um, it's a non-cooperative multiplayer strategic game focused on the simulation of the prediction of the space debris creation. Uh, the research took uh, um, the uh, three um, future space uh, powers, the United States, European Union, and China, and they tried to elaborate to understand how uh, the situation in the space, in the space uh, uh, debris, will change if uh, one of them will, um, will provide uh, active debris removal operations or not. Uh, the third type of the space game is the some uh, simulation for the um, precise uh, precise uh, um, aim. For example, the space military threats and so on. Uh, I use here the two type is the asterisk provided by the friends and the U.S. space flag uh, exercise. But they not. Um, all this game, they use just uh, one of the um, one precise aim, and uh, they not cover uh, the, all the um, all the complexity of the space uh, uh, space sustainability actions. Okay, <laughs> okay, I I see I have not uh, enough of time, so I I will be very 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 fast. Um, I will present my type of the game, uh, two minutes. Uh, the aim of the game, it's inside of the game, it's outside of the game. Inside, it's about it's for players, and outside, it's for me as a researcher that uh, need to observe this game. I uh, suggest the three types of the actors with different interests, operators, administrators, and financiers. They have uh, different challenges, different resources. Operators can use the dual-use commercial and civil uh, objects, all like in the real life, uh, and they can uh, buy on and sell all this uh, all this uh, space object. Uh, this is the board. This is the challenges. This is the space mechanic that uh, recalled with the real situation. Administrators have uh, some uh, possibilities also very very close to the situation that we have now but we can add uh, uh, because the game is good for construction of the activity financiers they also have some uh, type of their activity uh, here i uh, try to um, recall which game mechanics uh, uh, help to provide some target some aim for me as a researcher that need to observe this um, interaction between the uh, between the players, and also after that, I I will present the, the briefing. So I will ask uh, what uh, what they uh, gain through this game. Sorry, Kamil. Sorry for that. I took a lot of time. There is a lot uh, to uh, to respond to talk uh, to tell, but uh, I I hope it was interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much.